Yes, my lord. I'm ready to use you only if you can release yourself to me. I'll be determined to take you to places through the ministry you have committed into your hand. And I'm even ready to open doors of breakthrough unto you. All you need to do is for you to be diligent and hack into my voice. And I'm going to give you a woman after my own heart. The woman that will back you up in your ministry. And when you shall see the sign, you will know it. At this juncture, let me reveal the love of a man to you. This man served me with all his heart. He got married at the early stage of his ministry. Just as you are about to do. In all, they served me with their heart. For 16 good years, they had no child. Hmm. But that did not make them to go back. They stood. I even gave the wife a ministry. To those that are waiting on the law for the foot of the womb. Whatever she prayed. Miracles and testimonies have had. You realize by now that we are not bothered by whatever people say about our condition and you my dear you should understand that whenever we are bothered the devil take advantage of it and distract our attention Come on, my dear. you know you mean so much to me than 10 children you know that anytime I see you beside me in the ministry I feel relieved. Hmm? Please, leave mommy and anybody to say whatever they like to say. I don't care. All I care for is you and you alone. Huh? Anytime I see you cry, I feel sick. Because you know you are part of me. So please, I should stop crying. Stop crying. Yes, dear. I keep wondering why God has decided not to answer us. We pray for people, they become pregnant and have their own children. We dedicate children. But God, why? God, why? Why God? Uh, uh, my dear. Why God? My dear, please. Please. Eh? Please, don't let us say anything that will make God to be angry with us. I know surely that when it is time, God will do it. Remember, He makes all things beautiful in His own time. God will do it in His own time. So, my dear, now, promise me that you are not going to cry again. Yeah, that's my wife. See, women of faith, weakness, and joy inside that should give it to you. It's a powerful book, full of inspiration. So, do you have anything in your kitchen? God, why me? God, why me? Why did you hate me so much that you refused to give me children? Even if it is just one, what have I done? But wait a minute. I remember that a lady got pregnant and did abortion for me when I was in school before I gave my life to Christ. Could it be that the problem is from my wife 
or should I look for a lady to test myself like my mother said? But what will people say if the secret leaks out? What will I do? <sighs> ah, good afternoon, mom. Good afternoon, ma. What is good about the afternoon? Tell me, Joe. I'll tell you and your wife to stop coming to my house until you give me a child. Eh? Or you marry another wife? But you take me to be a witch. Mom, it's not like that. I did not call you a witch. I only said you should give us time. Give us time. 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 The same old story. Ah. For the past 10 years, I said you should go out and test yourself so that we'll know what is happening. Okay, it's all right, Mom. It's all right. Uh, that is why I'm here. Actually, I've reconsidered your suggestion, and I think I will try it. That's good. Ah, thank you. That's what I want. But, Mom, it should be between you and I. My wife must not know about it. You know I'm not a kid. Eh, then, when are you coming for the lady? I can't just pick any lady. I have to look for a decent woman that will not expose us. You know, this is top secret. No problem. Once you have done what I want, there's no problem. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. This is what I'm come to call you. Let's go and sleep in the bedroom. Say whatever you want to say now. As you can see, I'm having a nice time here. Dear, what is going wrong? Like what and what? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. When last have we been together as husband and wife? You come home late this day. Yeah, we don't eat together again. Is it not the same work of God we have been doing for the past 15 years? Yeah, what's wrong? Woman. Woman. Is that why you come here to disturb me? Listen, the sleeping that you have been sleeping together for the past 10 years, what has it produced? Look, that bedroom you are talking about is as good as nothing. No child, nothing. Look, I'm sick and tired. Eh? Besides, I've worked all through the day. I'm tired now. I need to rest. Good night. You say you always feel peace in your voice when I'm crying because I'm part of you. You said I'm more than 10 children to you. You said so many things in the past. But now you don't feel for me again. You don't. Then what is wrong? Are tired. The 
There's nothing I can do. Just like that? Yes, just like that. But something else happened after his death. The Bible says in all things we should give thanks. Shade, I know that the death of your husband pains you a lot. <coughs> but as a mother, I know how much painful it is. Well, I thank God. Joel is dead. But he left behind a child. Shade, you have heard about the child your husband has before his death. This is Blessing, your husband's child. And this is the mother. They have come to stay in the house. I pray that the Lord will bless your womb and make it fruitful. You are free to go out to have your own husband. So anytime you want to go, let me know. My dear, this is your husband's house and that's the master's bedroom. The key is there. So you are free to move around the house. Thank you, Mama. The house belongs to blessing. So Shade, you can go out. Move out from my son's house. Oh, God. <laughs> this is terrible. He died without confessing his sins? Yes. Without confessing his sins. That's how the work of 26 years was tested, burnt and wasted. It's right there with the devil, waiting for the day of judgment. What about his wife? She must have been disappointed in him. She was disappointed. She was even frustrated. In the midst of these challenges, she was able to stand. But she relocated. She moved to another town. Got married to another man. She had three children. Two boys and a girl. Mm. It's only God that can help us. Ruben. Yes, my Lord. As to sojourn in this world, beware. Flee every appearance of evil. Who are these ladies? These are the people you are going to meet on your journey to the promised land. Truly they are born again children of God. They are, they are not my plan and purpose for your life. My Lord, who is this sister? And why did she hand over the microphone to me? Remember at the beginning of this journey. I told you I'm going to give you a woman after my own heart. The woman that will back you up in the ministry. Reuben. Yes, my lord. When you see the sign, you shall know it. It is well with you.
Sister Cecilia. Say, I've heard all you said. Okay? But you see, Pastor Ruben has not actually told me anything like that. But I know God has a way of attending to the needs of his children. So let's just continue to pray for the will of God to come to pass. But, sir... Ah, Sister Cecilia, like I told you, let's leave God to act. All right? The will of God will come to pass. He has better plans for his children, you know. Okay? Mm -hmm. Don't worry. Uh, you are one of those that will be singing at the revival hour this evening. Yes, sir. Okay. Go and be preparing prayerfully. I'll see you in the church, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Daddy, I'm getting confused. This is the second sister that will come to you just because of me. Pastor Ruben. Yes, sir. You don't need to be confused at all. Alright? You yes. don't need to be confused. God is on the throne. All you need to do is just to continue to pray. And I trust God. He will lead you aright. Actually, I've not been praying about it. I've been trying to work things out concerning what I told you, sir. I still need your prayers. Yeah. We are praying for you. It is my duty to pray for you and to pray for every member of my church. Yes. I'll continue to pray for you. I have even raised some prayer team to be praying for you people. So don't worry. I know the Lord is on the throne. Amen. He will guide you aright. Amen. And he will prosper your ministry. Amen, sir. Thank you very much, sir. It's all right, my God dear. Bless you, sir. God bless you, Pastor. Sir, the sister is here to see you, sir. The sister to see me? Yes, sir. Sister Tolani. But you know I don't attend to visit us on Sunday morning until after the service. Yes, I told her. But she said the Lord sent her to me. The Lord sent her to me? Yes, sir. Sunday morning? Good morning, sir. Good morning, sister. I am very sorry to bother you, sir. Don't mind. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. All right. Yes, actually, I don't allow visitors to see me on Sunday mornings before service. But when the usher told me that you have a message for me from God, I told her to allow you in. Today is my first time in this church. As I was sitting down in the congregation, the Holy Spirit ministered to me to minister and song to the people of God today. That was why I told the usher that I need to see you, sir. Minister and song? Yes, sir. Um, that will be a little bit difficult. Because actually in this church, we don't normally allow first-timers to mount our pulpits to minister. Anytime we are bringing in any guest minister, we used to inform the congregation beforehand. More so that we do not know the type of life that the person that wants to minister on our pulpit lives. By the way, are you a born-again child of God? Praise the Lord. People of God, this is a very special Sunday, a very wonderful morning. This morning we have a special song ministration. I did not tell you this before, but we cannot stop the hand of God when He is ready to move. So this morning the Lord is going to speak to us again and by the leadings of the Holy Spirit. This special song ministration is coming up. Brethren, put your hands together as I welcome our dear sister, Sister Lady, to the microphone. Yeah. 
Sister Lady, that was a powerful ministration. Bless God, sir. Please, could you tell me more about yourself? Hmm. I'm a native of this town. I finished a year ago at the university. I went for my youth service. I just came back last week. And since this is the nearest church to my house, I decided to worship here today, sir. I see. Oh, that's great. And so... What are you doing now, or rather, let me say, what are you planning to do? Hmm? I will be doing whatever my hand finds to do for now. But actually, I am called into the ministry. Called into the ministry? Yes, sir. Great. I, I, I am interested in that. Please explain more. After my youth service at Enugu, the church I attended there organized a kind of send forth for me and my colleagues. During the St. Fort service, God used the man of God that was invited to minister to confirm what he has been telling me. God said he's ready to use me even if I can release myself to him. He said through the ministry he has given me that he will take me to places. He said he will open doors of breakthrough unto me. If only I can be diligent and add into his voice. To crown it all, you revealed the life of a man of God to me that met with various challenges of life on his journey to the kingdom. How he was faithful in his service to God. In the midst of their barrenness, they stood their ground until they fell and died in his sin. He said he revealed this to me in order to be very careful on my journey to the kingdom. That's what he said. I don't know how I will do it, but I've decided to do it soon. Sir. Pastor. Yes, Sister Lady, I'm sorry. I was lost in thought. Um, so, when are we seeing you in the church again? Well, I'll be attending this church from now, sir. So? That will be expecting you. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. Here, let me pray with you before you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. I thank you for this, your wonderful daughter. Thank you for bringing her here for a purpose. And the purpose for which you have brought her, Lord, you will fulfill it in her life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God said he's ready to use me even when I can release myself to him. He said through the ministry he has given me that he will take me to places. To crown it all, he revealed the life of a man of God to me that met with various challenges of life on his journey to the kingdom. How he was faithful in his service to God. In the midst of their barrenness, they stood their ground until they fell and died in the sin. He said he revealed this to me in order to be very careful on my journey to the kingdom. That's what he said. I don't know how I will do it, but I've decided to do it soon, sir. Daddy, this is the vision I saw 
that I told you about. How come? It amazed me too. Yes. You know, it is my habit to record when I need some facts from people. You may not believe that I recorded just to. What? Ha, <laughs> daddy! But you did not tell me! Yeah. Mama! I did not need to tell you. Anyway, Pastor Ruben, at this juncture, we have to intensify our prayers that the Lord's counsel will be fulfilled. Daddy, I need more prayers. Already, I'm in a fix. Two sisters said they were late, that they are going to be my wife. That's true. <laughs> but it seems like I said we will still continue to pray. God's will will be done. Amen. 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 I will not be around during the week. Okay. I will be traveling to worry. You remember I told you of the ministration in worry? All right. Just said I should remind you. Okay, for the midweek service. We will be praying along with you. Right. I know the Lord will be with you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, my dear. You know, I am convinced beyond any reasonable doubt that uh, Pastor Ruben and Sister Lady are meant for each other. Yes. In fact, when I listened to the two cassettes, I was so excited. Hmm. Ah, the vision is not different at all. At all. Hmm. The only difference is in the voice. Yeah. You remember Pastor Ruben said the sister handed over the microphone to him in the vision. That's true. And that was exactly what happened in real life. Yeah. Ah, yeah. God is great. Coupled with the fact that, you know, we ought to travel for a ministration that day. Yeah. That was why you asked Pastor Ruben to minister. I remember. And we didn't travel after all. And Pastor Ruben ministered. The sister handed over the microphone to him. Yeah. Just yeah. like that. He said what the two of them saw. Oh God, you are marvelous. God is great. Huh? Great. God, you are too much. God is great. You are too much. Great. Huh? I'm excited. But there, I have a feeling that Pastor Ruben needs to get married as quickly as possible now. Now that he travels often, don't you think so? You are right. That's true. Well, the Lord will teach us what to do. Amen. Ah, I'm so excited. What a, what a good combination. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. Oh, God, it's too much. Daddy, I had a revelation. I saw the Lord and he said to me that he is ready to use me if only I can release myself to him. He said they would take me to places through this ministry he has given me. He said he will open doors of breakthrough unto me if only I can be diligent and hearken to his voice. To crown it all, he revealed the life of a man of God that met with various challenges of life on his journey to the kingdom of heaven. How he was faithful in his service and the wife was barren. They stood their ground even in the midst of their barrenness until the man of God fell into sins and died. He said, He revealed this to me in order to be very careful on my journey to the kingdom of God. That's what he said, I revealed to me. I don't understand. Sister Lady, the voice you heard just now <laughs> is uh, <laughs> it's Pastor Ruben's voice. What? 
Sister Lady. This is far more than a coincidence. This is God at work. Yes. You see, brethren, the Bible says out of the mouth of two or three people shall the truth be established. Yes. Who is it that says no when God speaks? We have all heard now. We can see that this is God at work. I mean, this is God practically at work. For him to have given the two of you the same vision at the same time, but on different locations, that means this God is great. He has spoken, and we have listened to it now. So, I don't know what is on your mind, the two of you. I have all listened to it now. Hey, Pastor Ruben. Yes, ma'am. We don't know what's on your mind. And uh, you are free. Uh, Sister Lady, any objection? finish this announcement you know why I'm excited. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Yes. I'm sure uh, we all know Pastor Ruben very well. He's uh, one of our pastors there. Yeah? And I'm so sure you know Sister Lady too. Although she joined us not long ago, but she has been one of us. Um, brethren, people of God, the wedding bells are ringing again. <laughs> and I'm so happy and excited to tell you that before the end of this year, these two, Pastor Ruben and Sister Lydia, will be joined in holy matrimony in this world. Amen. <laughs> so, when any one of you see them together, doing some things together in holiness, though, <laughs> yeah, don't ask questions again. Uh, when the date is uh, fixed, I will let the church know. So, this is telling the single sisters in the church, as from today, Pastor Ruben here is no go area again. And uh, my wonderful single brothers. Uh, Sister Lydia is no more available. All right. <laughs> so, let me not see any brother coming to me to tell me that he has received Sister Lydia again. Is that understood? When the date is fixed, church, I will let you know. I can't believe this is happening in our church. Mm. Why did the sister join that church? I wonder. So, Pastor Ruben did not see any of us in the church that has been with him. For years to marry, hmm. one that she never had. My dear sister, yes. do you know what pays me most? What is that? I went to the senior pastor uh -huh. to tell him that God referred Pastor Ruben to me. Uh -huh. Do you know what he said? Hmm. Let us say, God, uh, Pastor Ruben said he has not, he has prayed. God has not revealed anything to him. Uh, Imagine he that he is blind. How will he see? I will God reveal anything to him. Hmm. That's the whole business, my sister. I'm going. Hmm. God bless my sister. Amen. See you at their salon. Thank you. It's a thought of good, a lot of people, to give us expected. I want us to pray and say, God, that expected hand, that glorious expected hand, for this union, Lord, let us experience it. In the name of Jesus, shall we pray? Father, in the mighty name of the Lord, we declare, O oh God, the expected end you have proposed for us. The expected end you have proposed for us. We pray, O oh God.
I'll be busy in the morning. All right. Pastor Ruben. Yes, Daddy. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. I will join you in a moment. It's all right, sir. I was busy doing some things inside. Yes. Daddy, we are here to 